going on, I'm going to show off the new Godzilla Atomic Roar figure that I just got today. The first one I want to show off is two other toys that I have really quickly. I got this about like a year ago. It's from the 1954 movie, the original movie. And um, this came all the way from Japan. It's pretty valuable. As you can tell, you can move his feet and arms and tail, but not his head. Which I, I got this fairly recently, only a few days ago, actually. This is this is really awesome. It's pretty expensive, but good because it should be expensive because it's awesome. Um, this is from Godzilla Final Wars, which is one of my favorite Godzilla movies. I mean, yeah, it is a ripoff of the Matrix, but it's still good. Um, and you can tell it move his head and tail. This is a really awesome figure. I highly recommend it. And then there's a brand new toy, which um, which uh, just released today. First, here's a quick look at the packaging, which is mostly demolished. I did start to do an unboxing video, but I had a hard time getting them open. I had to use a knife to get them from what I call the white wires from hell. If you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> yeah. Um, is one of my toys? Yeah, this is the new Godzilla Atomic Roar figure from the new movie. I mean, it is made out of plastic, and you can feel the plastic, but it's still pretty detailed. It, it feels pretty heavy for a toy. I mean, I, I can hold with one hand, but for a toy, it feels pretty... I guess you'd say massy, but um, when you do this, um, get him with his leg. As you can tell, he shoots out with a ton of breath. He has his new roar. Now I'm going to. Yeah, that's the bad part of this figure. Like, it could, you could be done with them, and then he just keeps going. So, use again. So overall, this is an extremely awesome figure. I'm afraid a kid might hurt himself with it, be like, oh, Godzilla, ah! But overall, this is an extremely awesome figure. It is pretty expensive, like $40, but if you're a Godzilla fan, I would highly recommend it. Um, I wouldn't let a kid go near because he might hurt himself. And this is for, and this is a little expensive, so I would give him one of the more cheaper ones, but... If you're a Godzilla collector and you can't like the new movie, then I highly recommend getting this.